Hey guys, I'm up in a fire ravaged Payson Canyon, Utah. I've got the Varley Eagle One Pro. It's got a ton of power, hydraulic brakes, a lot of fun to ride. Let me break everything down, starting off with the speed test. You got to have power and the Pro does. It has 2000 watt motors and that is powered by a 60 volt, 27 amp hour lithium battery. On a single charger, it takes eight to nine hours. Dual chargers, four to five hours. There's three speed modes, a top speed rating of 45 miles per hour and a very nice thumb throttle. I'm gonna show you how fast it can go on all three of the speed modes. Speed mode one, here we go. All right, one tops out of 16. Two is 25. And then three uh, was 39. It, I could have went faster. I just don't feel comfortable going faster than 40 miles an hour. It says it can get up to 45, I believe it. I still have some power on that. If you're looking for a light scooter, this is not it. The Pro weighs 90 pounds, but can carry a rider up to 330 pounds. It's time to see how long it takes to hit that 20 mile per hour mark. This is the acceleration test. Here we go. Nope. Wow, that's, there's 23 right there. That is, whoo, that is plenty fast and quick. Throttle engages right off the line. Man, I hit 25 less than a quarter of a block. Well, I want to give you an idea of the throttle sensitivity, but there's a little bit of play in the throttle, about a half an inch, and it is a very sporty throttle. It just gives you power. It's, it's kind of jolting. It's definitely not smooth, but if you like a very fast and abrupt throttle, uh, this, is a, this, this is it. Going 19, if I pop it, if I punch it, it's immediate delivery. It gets up there. There's 30. And then going, uh, you know, going around 20 miles per hour, if I release it, instantly cuts off, which is what I would expect. Pro has a range rating of 45 miles. As most of you guys know, I do two range tests. The first one, easy riding, not a lot of stop and go on some flat terrain. Second range test is harder riding, more elevation, and a lot more stop and go. Range one first. Battery's down to 75%, and I've gone 5.45 miles. Now, this is my favorite design of scooters. I just love that swing arm suspension. You got dual in the front, dual in the rear. It's got my favorite type of locking mechanism, just that dial. It seems to hold the stem in place the best out of any other design I've seen. So as far as the balance goes, it's not my favorite, and I'm trying to figure out what it is I don't like about it. I just don't feel as stable as I should for a you know scooter in this price range. I can't take my hand off the handlebars. I'm going 15 miles an hour now, but any faster than that, and I get a little bit nervous. Uh, it just feels like it takes some effort to actually balance this thing, to keep it upright. All right, down to 52% and I've gone 16.11 miles. Well, let me dive into the geometry. The total length of the scooter is 51.3 inches long. From the ground to the top of the handlebars is 52.4 inches high. So we'll dive into the cockpit. So you got a 24.8 inch length on the handlebars and they do have a four inch rise on them. There's four screws too that you can rotate them front or back. You got multicolor grips, black and gray and they are formed in a way that just really cradles your hands. And they feel nice too, and they're solid, they're stationary. The stem height is a little bit short for my size. Again, I'm 5'11". I wish it was another three, four inches taller, to be honest, but it is straight up and down. It's not pushing me back towards the back end of the scooter. The deck is fairly large. It's 22.8 inches long and 7.8 inches wide. Below the deck, you got 11 inch tubeless tires, and they are street tires. They seem to be higher quality, but I don't really have any small vibrations that I get when I'm on chip steel roads, which I am right now. And then you got dual hydraulic spring suspension, and there's a lot of play in that suspension. I mean, this feels like a trampoline. All right, uh, the battery says 27, and if it sits here for 15 or so seconds, it goes up to 30%. But just in the last couple blocks, I've noticed a big power decrease. And usually with scooters, that's you have about a half a mile before they die. So I'm gonna start heading back. I'm pretty close to my truck. I've gone 40 miles. That wraps up the first range test. 40 miles with 1,515 feet elevation gain is awesome. I'm gonna charge it back up, do another range test, this time full out speed mode three with a lot of stop and go and a lot more hills. Here we go. Down to 65% battery life and I've gone 4.83 miles. Okay, 49% uh, battery life. I've got 9.27 miles, a lot of stop and go, very steep terrain. I'm still climbing. Yeah, coming down this canyon, I, I only dare go about 35 to 37 miles per hour. And I think actually I'm starting to figure this scooter out. 
I think the suspension is too much. I wish there was ability to tighten up that suspension because there's a lot of give. And so when I'm hitting these little bumps, I'm just kind of bouncing in it. And it kind of has this rocking motion, which destabilizes the ride when you're going 35, 36 miles per hour. It's coasting down the canyon. I'm almost back to my truck. But yeah, it hits about 25% and then it dies. Wow. I just looked at my app. Uh, the range test is done. Uh, again, the scooter's dead. I just coasted down the canyon and uh, my app recorded 30.15 miles with 4,438 feet elevation gain. This is the first I've ever got over 4,000 feet on a scooter. There you go, guys. This is why I do what I do to show you what these things can do. And that is, that is awesome. Got uh, parkour and Ben up here. They got their off-road scooters. This is the off-road section. Gentlemen, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. my comrades are a little bit slower than I am. <laughs> so that kind of gives you an idea of how this is holding for off-road. It's kicking butt. The high clearance, the massive amount of travel in the suspension. Loving the suspension now. Oh, here's they come. The Pro's motor produces 36 Newton meters of torque and it's rated to climb a hill up to a 35% grade. Should we have a race? You got the Segway GT. That does cost $2,000 more than this, so just keep that in mind. Okay, we both got full batteries. I'm in speed mode three. You're in your race boost mode and uh, it flattens for the first 50 feet and then starts to climb very quickly. So, ready? One, two, three, go. We're peeling out, huh? Okay, I see how it is. This is kick butt, 27, 26. It really starts to climb here. 24, 23, 22, 20. I'm still going, baby. 19, wow, 18. Getting some uh, loose gravel. 16. Oh man, holy cow. That is impressive. During this 25% grade, I went down to 16, 17 miles per hour, which is, that is phenomenal. Well, the Pro has dual disc brakes and ABS braking. Time to test out how well they work coming down the same hill. I just went up for the hill test. This is very, very steep. All right. So, little squilling in the tires, little high whistle. You know, very smooth though. Hard brake here, three, two, one. Yeah, that was actually very controlled. But now you know if you do hit a 25% grade hill, which probably none of you will, unless you live in the high mountains, now you know what it can do. Let me run you through the LCD screen and control pad. Hit the power button, hold it down for a couple seconds. You'll see the NFC card pop up there, screen turns on, and you do have two of these. Plus and minus on the left side for the speed mode, one, two, three. The screen's not that bright and there's a horrible glare with the clouds, so kind of hard to see that, but uh, the eye button switches through different readouts. Below that is the headlight. You got a nice big headlight just below the locking mechanism and also a bright tail light. And when you hit the brake lever, that does flash. I forgot to mention this. You can turn off one of the motors. That icon indicates that both of them are on. If you hold down the plus button for a couple seconds, it turns it off. The Pro has an IP54 waterproof rating, a two year warranty and free shipping in the lower 48. Well, my favorite feature with the Pro was the range. It's got a kick butt range, especially on flat terrain. It can also kick butt up hills. If you want to pick it up, I've got the link in the description. Also be sure to check out my website, electricrevolutionreviews.com. There you can find all my reviews for it by price and capability. Hit that like button before you go and please subscribe for the latest in electric bike, board and scooter reviews. Mike out. Look at all the burnt pretty trees. Very lovely. They're lovely. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs>